Hello everyone! Right now, Caden is currently frozen and can't start his video. Can you find Caden and click on him to unfreeze him? You have denied the will of the gods of darkness and unfrozen Caden. <sighs> Good job, everyone! We did it! Oh my god! I'm unfrozen! Thank you so much, my Fumble family! I can't believe you solved that impossible to solve riddle and unfroze me from that glitch in time and space. You may be a bit confused about what just happened, and so am I. But there's a very easy way to explain this. There was a glitch... In the Matrix. Which really just means that life just glitched out there for a second, but luckily I have you to help me. So have you ever wondered, are there any glitched experiences on Roblox? Well, I have the answer for you, my Fumble family, and let me tell you now, that answer is yes, yes there are. Which is exactly what I'm going to be playing today. I know of multiple games that use glitches for fun, but this is the only game I know of that actually glitches itself, like it breaks itself, in order to make your experience unique. And this game is called Break Roblox. That's right. Break Roblox. So the intention here is to straight up just break it. Just snap it in half. Take Roblox, take your knee, and do this. Anyways, and what this game does is it uses graphic limitations to break Roblox. So this is a demonstration of how not only Roblox, but almost all 3D games encounter a graphic float precision error after traveling certain distances from the point of origin, which is 0, 0, 0. So from the base plate going upward, if you were to continue just going upward and non-stop going upward, why am I not coming down? Then you will start to experience glitches. Uh, I know from a fact by doing this myself in studio, the color of the sky will change to a much darker red if you go to a certain point. Uh, things will start to look fuzzy, but I don't want to say too much. Let's just get into the game and see how it looks. OMG, the game's creator is here. I feel honored. And here we are, my Fumble family. We are in the map, and uh, as you can see, nothing yet is glitchy. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta go up if you want to see the glitch. So let's teleport, shall we? Let's see. Let's start by going 10,000 kilometers into the sky. Transcend! Huzzah! <laughs> here we are. Okay, we're 10,000 kilometers into the sky. Everything seems pretty normal. I am on my beautiful alternative account, khaki shorts. No worries. So as you can see, we are clearly irresistible. Resistible. But it does not seem that there are any glitches happening up here. Not yet, at least. So let's go up another 40,000 kilometers and teleport to the 50,000 kilometer rank. Oh, we did it. And okay, you can already tell some glitches are happening here. So right off the bat, oh, he's gone. But there was a person in me. We were one, okay? We, we became one person. And uh, <laughs> it looks like I'm now shaking like an old dog or like a, a cold toddler. Whichever one's more unpleasant. Either way, I, I guess all that happens at 50,000 kilometers in the air is you start to get a little, you can get a little chill from the negative temperatures. Now let's go up another 50,000 kilometers to the 100,000 kilometer mark and see what happens there. I'm expecting this one to possibly force a fart out of my gut. <laughs> It did force a fart out of my gut, and it seems that we're just a bit more shaky than we were before. Uh, I don't know if this was like this before, but it looks like my neck is actually transcending off of my avatar. So let's see if it was like that at 50k. It was. Uh, I don't have a disgusting weird neck. Let's just go back to 100k and forget about that. Okay, uh, yeah, so like, we're quite a bit more shaky, but still, not a lot's going on. Let's try playing with some toys and see what happens. Uh, yep, that's pretty easy, pretty simple, mm, fun shapes. I don't really dig it. I'm gonna move on to the next floor, which is, wow, a whole 150k more we're stepping up to 250k from 100k let's see how it is okay so my current coordinates are 250,000 numbers that i cannot read and um things look pretty similar still uh now you can kind of tell like when i move now it's, it's even more shaky than before now i'm starting to look like a 90 year old woman making her way to the grocery store by foot but at the same time it's not terribly glitchy like i can stand staring at that kind of <laughs> I guess my face is like starting to like eat itself. I didn't notice that before. This is getting a little weird. Okay, okay. I like that it's getting weird. So let's make it even weirder by teleporting to the 500k mark, which means we're doubling what we're currently at. We started at 0k. We're all the way at 500k. Let's see how that goes. Oh my god. <laughs> My face! My face! What's happening? It's so shaken up and impossible to see. Like, I, I, you can't see my beautiful details. If I were to smooch that thing right now, it'd be, it'd be like a game of dodgeball. 
but I'd still land my mark. All right, let's try taking a walk around town and seeing if our pretty legs look a little strange in this glitched atmosphere. Wow. No, they don't, but uh, our, I guess our avatar is rapidly shaking as we move. It's kind of hard to tell if it's just our avatar or the entirety of the map, because everything seems to be rapidly shaking as we move. <laughs> I can still jump from different platform to platform. All that seems to be happening is a lot of shaking. So if you live in a place that frequently has earthquakes, you might be used to this. All right, now that we've tried 500k all the way from zero, we're going to do the biggest jump of all, which happens to be 1 million. But before we go there, let's just take a little Memorabilia back to zero and remember where we came from. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, no glitches. Per person from Undertale. <laughs> Take that person from Undertale. I don't know why I did that. Okay, and now let's go to 1 million together. My Fumble family, thank you for coming with me on this journey of breaking Roblox and making it all glitchy and stuff. Now, let's click this last one together. Click! Oh! Okay, why is there a person made of faces <laughs> who's also here? Okay, that's interesting. Um, it really shakes now. I mean, like, that is mildly disturbing. <laughs> It kind of looks like a fly is like flying into the camera itself and just like <laughs> shaking its face around. Um, I'm sorry you had to see that. But uh, yeah, here we are. Here is the ultimate glitch map right after we step on this guy's head. <laughs> oh, can't do that. <gasps> Winning smile. Let's get the heck out of here. Dang, says this guy. Hey, he's got tempers on him. Hey, he said that's some nice khaki shorts. That's right. Once you get to 1 million, people acknowledge your khaki shorts. No worries at all, they said. That's right. Khaki shorts? No worries. I said yours are amazing too, but this is what it looks like. Yours are... A mango. Yours are, it literally says yours are mango. So I guess the chat gets really glitchy as you go up. That's pretty great. But as you can see, this person here also has some khaki pants on. They could be shorts. I don't know if there's any more pant under those shoes. And they also have no worries. So let's dance for a second. Okay, there, I typed E-dance in all caps and now we're dancing all in a glitched paradise with some khaki shorts on and especially no worries. I call this the E-dance too. Sick. Sphere, we're gonna play some games in the strange atmosphere. Yes, you heard that right, my fumble family. Games. But Kaden, how are you supposed to play games if the game itself is broken? <laughs> What a stupid question, Small Caden. Oh, oh, do they have like a game mode for that or something? Why, yes, Small Caden. I'm glad you asked. They actually do have a game mode for that. And let me show you it, my Fumble family. There's actually two game modes that I can show you now. There is a sword fighting arena and a one million obby course. We are going to start out on the obby course and then we will sword fight some people and see if they can stand up against the immaculate strength of khaki shorts. No worries. First though, we're doing an obby all at 1 million kilometers in the air. You can't see our face, but you know there's a determined expression on it. Now let's get to jumping. Now I'm kind of an obby master. I mean like Renleaf slash Pinkleaf, if they were to challenge me, I'd probably, you know, win automatically. Um, that's a joke. That is a joke. Don't, don't, don't take that seriously. But that all being said, I think I can do this in my sleep. Uh, this actually isn't very hard. Uh, it, it is a little bit. It's like a little bit of a pull, wicked. Maybe I spoke a little too soon. Uh, there's like a little bit of a pull when you jump. It like, it feels like a magnet is kind of just like lightly dragging you this way every time you jump. But other than that, I feel like if you kind of know how Roblox obbies work already, oh god, then you'll probably be able to get through this pretty easily. Like so. What, why do I keep doing this? Come on, Kaden. Stop embarrassing yourself in front of your fumble family. Like so. First try is a charm. That's what they say. Oh! I almost didn't make it! Man, these 1 million obbies are a bit more intense than I thought. Oh, wow. Okay, wait. You can't zoom in. It, it like, glitches if you zoom in. Oh, God. This is so hard. Wait! Shift lock. Aha! And take this! Oh! I quit this obby. What was that disastrous move? I almost made it to the end of it, too. It's, it's just right there. Okay, I've just challenged a Fumble family member to a duel to the death at 1 million kilometers in the sky. So now I'm going to 1 million kilometers in the sky to fight to the death with a Fumble family member. Because, you know, what better to do is there at 1 million kilometers in the sky? Okay, uh, they are severely damaged as somebody tried to assault and murder them just now. Uh, but I'll give it my all or I'll save their life as this person goes to kill them. There you go. Fumble family members saved. Now, murder time. Yeah! Oh, God! Oh, no! They're too skilled and I'm embarrassed! It seems that they're very proud of themselves if they, as they exclaimed in the chat, 
<laughs> you fought valiantly. Why, thank you. It's just me again. You fought valiantly as well. GG. Now let's do one final battle at 1 million kilometers in the sky, and then I will show you all of the interesting game passes I purchased here. Sure, rematch time. And this time, I won't lose. I bet my two disgusting fly eyeballs on it. Let's go. Congratulations, person. You're go- I don't want to talk about it! <laughs> okay, my fumble family- Oh, Jimin! How could you have a beautiful name like Jimin and such a scary face like that? Well, hold on, let me cover this guy up. Okay, my fumble family, now we're ready for the final part of this video. Which happens to be testing out the game passes, including one that can teleport us to custom coordinates. So, for example, these coordinates right here, 1 million, 1 million, I can change that to 2 million, 2 million, or better yet. Three million, three million. So let's try them out. Let's see. Uh, first, let's go to one million and try out these balloon and. Oh my God! This didn't happen last time we came here. That was interesting. Um. Okay. I guess there's some glitches we didn't realize were here last time. Uh. But let's see what a balloon does at one million kilometers in the air. Wow. Does the same thing it always does. Now let's sip some Black Sea Cola and- Oh god, it's going all over my face! Oh, no, it's not. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> now let's make our coordinates very, very high. I'll do, I don't know, 10 million and 10 million. How about that? 10M, 10M, teleport. Hey! This is- this is the beginning place! Alright, let's try this again. Maybe I have to type it out, like, physically. Thousand, a hundred thousand, one million. Okay, um, I don't even know what number I typed in. I just typed a bunch of ones and zeros. It, it teleported me here. I'm, I'm just like a glitch shape. I can't even stay on the map very easily. Um, I can't jump. This is my eyeballs now. I- I'm now, like, the equivalent of myself as a fly. I have a single fly eyeball. Oh, look at that. I just fell. I don't even think you're supposed to be able to fall. They're off the maps in this game, but I did. What happens when you type in, uh, I don't know, infinite nines into both sides? Then press teleport. Oh. Wow. It's, it's all so beautiful. Oh, oh, for a second there, I, I thought I transcended into the heavens, but it turns out that I was actually just falling from very high in the sky, because I, I think I typed in too high of coordinates. Let's try that again with some smaller ones. Okay, don't get me wrong, these are still quite aggressively large coordinates. There's just a lot of nine, but less nines than before. Possibly nine less nines than before. Now let's teleport. Oh, that just threw me straight into the depths of hell. That thing just pulled me under. Okay, we'll do a smaller number this time, but it'll still be questionably large. And this is the grand finale for today's video. My fumble family, let's see how high this will take us. Bam! Dang it. I guess the 10 million or whatever I typed before might be the max? Yeah, it is. It seems that looking like this is the worst that you could possibly do in the game. My Fumble family, if you want to see me return to games like this or play some more glitched Roblox experiences, please let me know by liking this video and commenting down below. Sub if you haven't already and turn on notifications because that does help me out a whole butt ton. So as usual, my Fumble family, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time and breaking hand slap. <laughs>